Okay, I'm working on this heat pump here. And uh, the unit is in the AC mode. Heat pumps in the AC mode. Okay. It's in the AC mode. Now, let me explain to you what's going on. Defrost board. And that defrost board there. You go, I came to the job here. Customer said that the unit was actually running. Uh running fine in the morning in the afternoon it gets hot in this house okay let me explain to you what happened you got uh, these two leads here you got fan one and fan two on the board you got fan one and fan two. Fan one is power going to this relay. And fan two is power going to the motor. That's the other side that uh, runs the motor. Okay, this here, this lead here, this is uh, the defrost thermostat. Okay, so what's happening is. Uh, this defrost thermostat is actually going into defrost causing the system to go into um, reverse the valve and it causing it to go into emergency heat in the middle of the day I have never seen anything like this before in my life so the only way you can really find out what's going on with it uh, with the system is disconnect the defrost thermostat from the defrost board and uh, you want to ohm it out. You want to ohm out your defrost thermostat because if your th defrost thermostat isn't connected to your board, your system will keep on running. And you just ohm it out with your meter. You just ohm it out with your meter there. And um, if you're getting continuity after a while, because your defrost thermostat is actually an open uh, part. It's actually it's actually an open control here, right here and uh, it clamps there it is it clamps to your it clamps to your line uh, I'm sorry it clamps to your coil right where the bend is close to the bottom you want to get not all the way on the bottom but you want to get close to the bottom so um, what happened uh, best like I said the best way to test it is to run the system and disconnect your defrost thermostat ohm it out until you get in continuity because when you put your your leads on uh, one one side you put your lead on one side and you put your lead on the other side your your hot your uh, your positive and your uh, negative on your meter you shouldn't be getting anything uh, when the, the thermostat is open because it's considered an open open uh, control so um, when uh, the line supposed to get down to 30 degrees and some of them get down to 25 degrees which is this one does here this one gets down to 25 degrees so when it get down to 20 to 25 when it get down to 30 to 25 degrees on some of them but on this one here like i said it's designed to get down to 30 degrees but that coil is not getting that cold because first of all it's in the heat it's in the ac mode only in the winter time it's supposed to close so they let me know right then and there that this defrost thermostat was bad but um, i'm gonna go ahead and switch it out and uh run it for a while and let you guys check that out I'll get back to you shortly. Okay, I've got the uh, defrost, the new defrost thermostat. Okay, I've got the new defrost thermostat hooked up. And uh, I'm just jumping it out, on it out, just to test it. I'm going to run it for about 10 minutes like this just to make sure it's not going to close. Because, like I said, the old one, it was actually closing. It was actually closing in the AC mode which is what it's supposed to. It's supposed to close at 30 degrees, not uh, 65 degrees of that coil. 
that coil doesn't get that that cold in the AC mode. Only when it freezes up in the uh, heat mode. So um, it's kind of tough sometimes when you're working on heat pumps. Kind of tough sometimes when you're working on heat pumps. And uh, like I said, in the middle of the day, what it would do, it would actually go into the, uh, it would go into defrost in the middle of the day. The customer would call me up and say it was blowing heat. So, and when you, when it's running in the morning, it actually uh, running fine. And then running in the evening, running fine. But in the middle of the day, I guess it would be peaked out. And this thermostat here, it would just, I don't know, it's just bad. I guess uh, the set point would just be so close where it's okay, once it get to 60 degrees on the actual um, condenser coil, it would actually close. But it's not supposed to close until it get down to 30 degrees, but like I said, it doesn't, it, 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 it's real rare. It's real rare for this thing to operate the way it was operating, where it would actually go into defrost in the middle of the day in the summertime. So. You would check everything. You would check the, the thermostat from the uh, from in the, in the house. You, you would just check the motor out here, make sure the motor's not bad. You would check the actual solder joints on the back side of the defrost board, make sure you don't have any bad uh, solder joints on the back side of it. You would check a lot of stuff, but just something so simple as the defrost thermostat causing this defrost board to go on the defrost in the middle of the day. I mean, go figure, right? So as of now, you're looking at the, my meter, it's still, uh, the defrost thermostat, that I, the new one that I put in is still open. So that let me know that the unit is gonna run fine. It's not gonna go into defrost. So that's not, you know, it's not supposed to go into defrost in the AC mode, but I'm gonna tell you, it's, it is so weird for a defrost thermostat that will make this system go into defrost in the summertime, but this one did. So I'm not a parts changer. I told the customer I'm not a parts changer. I just wanted to get to the bottom of why this thing is doing what it's uh, did. This is my third visit back out here just to see what this thing was doing. So now I'm, this is the culprit, defrost thermostats, cause this thing to go into defrost in the summertime, okay? As of now, it's been running uh, about four minutes. Still, the defrost thermostat is open. You want it to stay open. You definitely want it to stay open. This is a wintertime occurrence, not summer. So don't all don't change all your parts just just because the unit going to defrost. Don't always think it's a defrost board just because it goes in the defrost. It's the, this is the culprit, the defrost thermostat. And like I said, this is a high heat pump and a carrier and how they got really similar defrost boards. I think it's the same board, I'm not sure, but it's real close. But anyway, just, just always make sure you check this defrost thermostat. And like I said, the best way to check it is to disconnect it from the defrost board and ohm it out while the system's running in the AC mode. And if all of a sudden you got continuity, uh, Meaning you got yeah continuity, you just turn it to continuity. Once you get continuity, when it's running in the AC mode, then you know the defrost thermostat is bad. Then uh, uh, disconnect it from the actual board and just go ahead and uh, put another one in and do what you got to do. But uh, this is something that a lot of people overlook. They automatically think that the actual defrost board is bad, but it's not the board all the time. So just go through your steps, check the board, check the defrost thermostat, even check the thermostat inside. I mean, sometimes the thermostat is faulty where the thermostat inside, it'll actually go into emergency heat. I mean, I'm not saying it, it, it will or won't happen, but it could happen. Go into emergency heat, and uh, but by checking that, then you'll know that your, um, your, your W circuit is uh, actually activated out here at your unit on your low voltage. And uh, once you uh, realize that it's activated out here, then uh, you just go ahead and go inside and troubleshoot it from there. But, uh, but like I said, to actually run this here, run this system here, and the uh, to test it out, just uh, just go ahead and like I said, disconnect this here, and uh, just make sure that uh, 
you ohm it out while it's running. And then all of a sudden, once you get continuity in the AC mode, then you definitely know the defrost thermostat is bad. All right, well, I'm done talking. I hope, hope you guys get it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hook this up, and I'm going to get out of here. Ice Man signing out. JB Heating and Air.